The following is a presentation of SC State Athletics. For the second week in a row, Coach Buddy Pugh, South Carolina State Bulldogs are on the road. This week in Charlotte, North Carolina, Jerry Richardson Stadium to take on the Charlotte 49ers. The Niners in the American Athletic Conference and a coach by first year head coach Biff Pogey. Now, Pogey came in, revamped this entire Charlotte roster. He brought in 70 new players, including 48 transfers. For South Carolina State, the Bulldogs coming off a disappointing loss last week in the MEAC Swag Challenge in Atlanta against Jackson State. Can the Bulldogs find some success, especially on offense? North of the border? We're about to find out. Coming up next on the Buddy Pugh Show. And back and forth. Gets it to Alex on the right side. Alex bounces it outside in the board. He turns the corner into 45. At the field. In the board in state territory. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Takes a break to get the board. 20, 40, 40, 40, 35, 30. Donnie Dixon is 25, 20, 15, 10. Donnie Dixon is 5. Touchdown, Donnie Dixon. He keeps it himself. Devontae Green got wrapped up and gets him on the turf. Struggled last week early on, eventually got it going. How do you put that early on in the game? Well, uh, we've got a little bit of an issue that core is down. So oh, we're going to play Andre today, which is a little bit of a strange deal, Andre Washington. he's going. So we changed the offense around a little bit, and hopefully to the good. So we'll see exactly what happened because last week it didn't really work out. We've got an opportunity now to see how this goes today. But at the same time, hopefully we'll have Corey back next week. Talk about your offensive line. Last week you had some injuries go down. What about up front? Last week you had to move some pieces around. We did, and we've got more of, a, of the same this week. The best part about it, though, is the fact that we get Dallas Ford back, and then we've also started, we're going to start Moses Yamora in the day at, at right tackle. So we move Nick Tate back inside the guard where he's a more natural guy that way, and then at the same time, that gives us a little better depth. So I'm kind of excited to see them this week too so I'm looking forward to I'm just looking forward to seeing the game today because I think we got to be better than we were last week it can't be that bad again now defensively <laughs> last week you came out and played well you got Jackson State off the field it probably stayed on the field too long and eventually yeah. caught up with them but how do you keep the defense still excited about it yeah well I can tell you that our defense has got a chance to be better also and uh, anytime you got a situation where you know, you got that many people that's a back. Uh, you got some good young guys running around. We think that these guys can make some plays. So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what our defense does today. Coach, we don't know a lot about Coach Biff Pogey, but from what we've heard, he likes to run the football as much as you two from that standpoint. So it's kind of funny to see two coaches with almost the same philosophy. Well, they, we kind of look alike a little bit too, except for he's white <laughs> and I'm black. But at the same time, I can tell you that this guy, you know, has got all the pieces in place here. And they, you know, they really brought a lot of transfers and that kind of stuff into this this uh, uh, Charlotte program. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like too. This is a this is a strange little deal here today. I'm telling you, and this and these first three games because next week we play Georgia Tech. But thank goodness Georgia Tech played last night, so we at least have film on them to look at next week. What's going to be the key to winning here today? Well, if we can run the football, that would be great. I tell you, that's always a big part of our plan. And then at the same time, we got to stop the run on defense. All right, coach. Best of luck this afternoon. Thank you so much. Cobb. End over end kicks going to be short. This is going to be Dwayne Thomas Jr. from the three at the five. Up the right side at the 10, at the 15, at the 20. Cuts back at the 25, across the 30. Good return up to about the 33 yard line. So a good start for the 49ers as they get it up to about the 33 yard line. Jones throws it out in the flat. He is Bird. Bird is hit in the backfield by Demarcus Doe. Breaks the tackle, but it's tackled down. That's a loss of yards. Back to the 28-yard line. And, boy, that aggressiveness from South Carolina State really paying off. Nigel Johnson goes out wide to the right. It is Richard Bailey in the slot to the right. Shotgun formation for Andre Washington. Washington gives it to Howe. Howe makes the man miss it to 20. Spins. Gets up to about the 24-yard line. So he got back the lost yardage plus some. Shotgun formation for Andre Washington. Crowd getting into it. Shotgun snap. They give it to Howe. Howe gets the first down and more at the 30 to the 32-yard line. What a nice run for Jawan Howard, the freshman from Mooresville, North Carolina. Andre Johnston, the quarterback. Andre Washington, the quarterback. Washington keeps him himself over the right side. Gets across the 35 to about the 36-yard line. That's a pickup of five on the play, almost six. Shotgun formation now for Andre Washington. Washington back to pass, throws out in the flat to Howe. Howe gets the first down at the 42-yard line, barely. They marked him short, but now they mark him forward. It's a first down for the Bulldogs at the 42-yard line. 
Thomas in motion. They give it to him on the end of the round. Thomas trying to get outside. Tripped up, tackled down. Good play for South Carolina State. Number, number Making the play was DJ Bethay. Here's the snap. Ten on the line of scrimmage. Gets off the punt. It's off the side of his foot. Not good at all. This is going to bounce backwards, and it'll be the Bulldogs will have it at about the 48-yard line. Jones back to pass. Jones in trouble. Fights free. Jones tries to throw it out. It's intercepted by South Carolina State with the football down to the tw to the five-yard line. And the clock will go off, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter play here in Charlotte. Our score, South Carolina State nothing, Charlotte nothing. Caleb Brown to snap. Snap's good. Get Gavin's toe is in it. It is up. It's long enough, and it is good. And the Bulldogs draw first blood. 13.53 to go here in the second quarter. Robinson, they give it to him a third time in a row. Robinson right up the middle, cut down. Damari Benjamin saved the touchdown. Hand off to Bird. Bird up the middle. Bird gets about six, seven yards. That big offensive line moving folks out. He picks up eight. Jones keeps himself, pulls it out. Jones trying to make a move, getting outside at the 25. Jones down the field at the 15-yard line. Tackled by Patrick Godbo down the field. Big run for Jalen Jones after handing it off exclusively. Jones made a man miss. Touchdown, Charlotte. So with 9.56 to go here in the first half, our score, Charlotte 7, South Carolina State 3. Jones hands off. This is Robinson right up the middle. Robinson gets up another pickup of eight yards, and Bill, he's getting eight yards of pop right up the middle. At the line of scrimmage, or the Hornets. They give it to Robinson. Robinson makes a man miss, stays on his feet. What balance up to the midfield. Finally brought down in the secondary by South Carolina State's Marquise Bradley. Back in at running back. This is banged out. He didn't get anything. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage on the tackle for South Carolina State. That was Jamal McKinley. Jones. Gives it a no play action fake. It's caught up at about the 45 yard line of South Carolina State. 15 yard pickup. It'll be third down now. They'll need five to hold on to the football. Help. Snap. Jones keeps it himself around the right side. Jones trying to get outside. Jones turns the corner to 10, pushed out of bounds at the five. Now Hysteria goes in motion. They give it to Robinson. Robinson walks in right up the middle. So with 4-12 to go here in the first half, our score. Charlotte 14, South Carolina State 3. Four down linemen and four. The 49ers, Washington back to pass. Washington going long. Got a man out there. George Smith catches at the 45. He's at the 50, at the 45, 40. George Smith all the way down to the 36-yard line of Charlotte. Jones back to pass. Jones steps up in the pocket, throws it out there. It is caught out of bounds. Good pass to number 19. Jones back to pass, looking right. Probably going to throw right. Does. Wide open, caught. Hysteria. With the first down, Jones back to pass, looking right. Probably going to throw right in. Trouble goes down. Sacked. Aaron Smith gets the sack back at the 32-yard line. <laughs> Snapped good. Gunan's toe is in it, and it is Whoa. good. So with nine seconds to go in the first half, the 49ers 17, South Carolina State 3. Andre Washington takes the snap, takes the knee, and that's going to do it for the first half of play here from Jerry Richardson Stadium on the campus of the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Charlotte leads it 17-3. All right, Coach, we start the football game a little different than last week. We won the toss. Thank that you. set the tone. You came out and got a couple first downs. You're right. What we really did, though, is our defense went out and stopped them from the very beginning. And then from there, we got good field position and got it down close. We just couldn't quite get it done. Now, our offense is somehow or another giving us a little bit better hope. But, you know, the hope is not enough. We got we to gotta get some scores now. You know, it's tough when you play a team like Charlotte that you don't know a lot about, and you got a freshman quarterback seeing his first yeah. real action, and you're not going anywhere. You're going to stick with it. Yeah, well, you get a, 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 a pretty good feel from that statement what our real situation was. Uh, we were trying to find a way to get through a game without core fields. And uh, we used Andre Washington this week, and, and, and I'm really excited about the fact that we got a chance to play Andre because he's showing some sign of being a little different skill set than Tony. Most of the college quarterbacks that you see today 
got pretty good running ability along with the fact that they throw pretty accurately. And uh, we think we, we kind of envision Andre as being that kind of style guy. Now, um, we got to the point today, though, where we couldn't quite seem to make the, the short yardage goal line game work. Uh, we got in several, se several situations where we got short yardage plays that we didn't get done. So we got to go back to the drawing board, but we did see some light, you know, at the end of that total. Our defense played extremely well at times. Uh, they had a couple of bad quarters, uh, a, a, a bad series, or maybe I ought to say. But I can tell you that I did see some, uh, some promise there. You start talking about this game, Coach. The second quarter was really tough for the defense. That was where they did most of their work. And the game sort of changed after we took the lead. Gavin Zimmerman drilled a 42-yard field goal, but then they come back and they put a kid, Darrell Robinson, into the game, and he was tough to bring down. Right, right. They had a little bit of a delayed inside zone play and power that uh, seems to be kind of in vogue. I think you see Wake Forest doing that little deal now. And uh, I guess we're in North Carolina, so when you're in North Carolina, do is the maybe schools our size or this size do, but uh, they did have some success later in the in, in the first half. Uh, it was really, we thought, you know, a, a refreshing thought for us to go through the first quarter without them scoring. And then Gavin did hit a nice field goal to get us ahead to go ahead. But, you know, from that point, and they drove it down and got a score. Tell you what, though, now, you know, I feel a lot better about our defense today. And now we got to figure out how to get, how to get some, some scoring out of our offense. So Coach, let me talk about that last possession that they ended up having to settle for a field goal because your defense, although we gave up a bunch of yards, came up with a big stop and kept it to a 17-3 game, which is right. a two-score game. Right. They got into a two-minute uh, drill toward the end of the first half, and it looked like they were going to go up 21-3. to three. And uh, we got a nice stop with our defense, and they hit another field goal, long field goal, somewhere in the 43, 44-yard range. But uh, it was a situation where we got them stopped. That was the way the first half ended on Saturday. Bulldogs trailing Charlotte 17 to three. We'll take a timeout here on the Buddy Pugh Show. We'll come back with more after this timeout. All right, welcome back to the Buddy Pugh Show. It's that time for the Prisma Health Injury Report, Coach. And, you know, starting off the injury report at the top of the list is number two, Corey Field. Yeah, uh, we lost our quarterback later in the Jackson State game the week before. So Corey was out and Justin Smith-Brown, his favorite receiver was also out. So we had those guys out from the very beginning. Now we had a couple guys that went out for a while but came back into the game. Aiden Weber, our transfer linebacker from Delaware State, uh, went out for maybe three or four series. I think he might have had a, a little bit of a, a shoulder deal. And then we had a little bit of an issue with uh, with uh, Moses, uh, you're more than with cramps. With, right, with cramps. Uh, our offensive tackle, who started his first game, freshman Moses Yamoran from Atlanta did go out for a while, but he came back in. So besides that, I think most everybody else got through the game uh, pretty much unscathed. All right, that is the Prisma Health Injury Report for the Charlotte game. We'll take another time out here on the Buddy Pew Show. We'll come back and talk about the second half. Bulldogs and 49ers right after these messages. Gunan in the approaches, end over end kick, and boy, he hits it. Jordan Smith lets it go over his head into the end zone, and the touchback will take it to 25. Shotgun formation for the quarterback, Andre Washington. Gives it to Casey Fields. Fields bounces out town at 30 to 35 at the 40. Fields delivers a blow Number all the way up to the 43-yard line. Back to pass Washington. Quarterback draw. Washington dancing a little too much. Gets outside, spins. Nowhere near that first down marker. Did get up and pick up three or four yards. Jablonski Green with the sack of Jalen Jones in the backfield all the way back at the five-yard line. Yep. Washington in, in trouble. Throws it. Keyshawn Tony first down. Keyshawn Tony trucks up to the 44-yard line of Charlotte. Washington. Handoff inside. That's Tyler Smith with a burst. Wow. Smith across the 50 to the 49. Washington back to pass. Throws it out. Is caught. Linda first down. Breaks a tackle at the 30. Down to the 29-yard line. Wow. First reception of the career. Two Bulldogs left, one right. Handoff inside. Casey Fields breaks a tackle at the 20 at the 15. Down to the 10-yard line. Casey Fields trailing 17-3. to Washington keeps him himself. 
at the five down to the three yard line. Close to that first down marker. Juwan Howell in the backfield. They give it to Howell. Oh my goodness. And Washington, I think, I don't know if Washington went to hand it off the wrong way. They give it to him. Robinson hit, stood up right at the line of scrimmage and thrown back in the end zone. Boy. He did get out. Shotgun formation for Jalen Jones. Here's a snap. They give it to Robinson. He stood up almost in the end zone. Boy, I thought he might have been a safe today. I don't think he got he, I No, they marked him at the one. What a play inside South Carolina State. Washington's in the shotgun. Gives it to Fields, and he stood up. Not going to get there. Not even close. Boy, that's twice. Penetration just too much. Just didn't get the blocking. Two receivers left, one right. Shotgun formation. Mac in motion. They give it to Bang to inside. Oh, no, check that. That's a new running back. That is Number zero. 10. Oh, was it zero or 10. Snaps good. Holds good. Toe is in it. It is up. And boy, he drilled that. Wow. Thing. That's no, no oh, good. Oh, it's in oh wide my goodness. Enough. It looked like it went through the upright. Jones keeps it himself. Flips it out to the tight end. He's wide open at the 35 at the 30. At the 20. Touchdown. Wow. Charlotte makes it. Very, very difficult for the Bulldogs to get back in this football game. Play action, fake Andre looking long. Throws it out, it is intercepted. At about the 45 at the 40 to 35, 30. Going out of bounds and coming down with it. Dwayne Thomas Jr. in motion. Pilney, I thought a penalty marker was down. Jalen Jones gets up the field. Wow. It goes out of bounds at about the eight yard line. Gives it to Yakim over the left side. He's wrapped up, brought down. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle over there for South Carolina State. Making the play. That was Adonis Davis. Shotgun snap. They give it to Banger. Nope. Jones keeps himself trying to get outside. Jones going for the corner. Jones flips it up. It is intercepted in the end zone by South Carolina State with an athletic play. Whoa. DJ Bethay wow. made the interception. Trexler takes the snap. Downs the football. And we got 30 seconds to go. And Bulldogs and 49ers. Yep. Gallant effort. The final score here tonight from Jerry Richardson Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's University of North Carolina 24, South Carolina State 3. All right, Coach, a little different than last week because the second half you begin with possession right. and you actually come out and get yourself back in this game and move the football down got the it, field. Got it down the field on a nice drive. And I think uh, Casey Fields had a nice run. We had a couple of nice series. And uh, Andre Watson hit a pass or two. I think uh, one of them might have been a fourth down pass. One, so. one to Keyshawn Tony, which got you some good yardage. Exactly. So we were actually moving the football and kept the football for a large portion of the second, uh, of the third quarter, which, you know, I'm sure helps our defense a good bit because time of possession, you know, is a big key in them, you know, staying fresh. But uh, we didn't get it in enough. We got it down inside the five a couple times and couldn't quite get it in. So that was disappointing. So we ended up not scoring but three points, the three points that we got in the first half. But you know what? I, 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 I see some light at the end of that, end of that time, too. I think we go back to the drawing board and get to the point where we can figure out how to get the football, especially against, you know, competition level such as ours. And you're going back to the offense, Coach, and most people don't realize that when your offense can keep the football, it really allows your defense to rejuvenate. And your defense, although it slowed in the second quarter, didn't give up any points in the third quarter. You're right. That was probably the biggest reason why our defense was as strong as it was that way because of the fact that our offense did so much better as far as maintaining the football. Of course, got into a critical fourth down situation. Coach had a couple opportunities down there, yeah. and we just didn't execute. And when you're in a game yeah. that's close, it's 17 to 3, you score, and you change the whole complexion of the yeah. football game. Yeah, the one thing that schools, the, bit, the bigger schools have, is they got a lot of bodies, big bodies. And uh, sometimes you got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone other than just go run up the middle. But, uh, you know, we seem to think that we can. We got to figure this out. You get into the fourth quarter, of course, have some difficulties running the football. But then you look at the situation, Coach, as far as your defense is concerned. They're still playing. You get the football back again, have another opportunity. Right. A couple just near misses, a rare drop. And I guess I shouldn't um, classify. Jordan Smith never drops a pass. Yeah, yeah. He, but, and he's been having a wonderful uh, preseason. So we'll get back to the drawing board with him and make sure 
that he's ready to go next week in Georgia Tech. All right, the Bulldogs go down to defeat the Charlotte 49ers by a score of 20-43. We'll take a time out here on the Great View Show. When we come back, we'll tell you what's up next for your South Carolina State Bulldogs. So the road doesn't get any easier for South Carolina State this week as we head back down to Atlanta, but this time we go across town to Grand Field and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are their coach and this is going to be a challenge. It is, and uh, Georgia Tech lost a close football game, scored a lot of points against Louisville last Friday night. Uh, I think it was in Atlanta, so uh, we go back in there and uh, try to see what we can do with, the, with that crowd, the Yellow Jackets. You know, you start talking about Georgia Tech, those buddy pew tentacles are all over the place. Tyler Smith, who started linebacker for the Bulldogs, is an assistant strength coach for the Yellow Jackets. And, and there are several other folk on that staff that are, you know, friendly to us in other ways. But at this point, we'll be enemies next Saturday, and I'm sure they'll be trying to beat us up. So we look forward to going down and mixing up with those guys because uh, it's always fun to go back and play in Atlanta. Let's talk about next week, Coach. What about you think the availability of Corey Fields? Well, let's hope that we'll get him back. We think that that could be a case. He's got plantar fasciitis of the foot, and uh, it's one of those situations where we want to be careful because we definitely need to have him full speed uh, available for the uh, rest of the remainder of the schedule. Between him and uh, Justin Smith-Brown, hopefully we can get all those guys healthy and ready and ready for, our, for, for the stretch run. All right, folks, that's going to do it for the Buddy P Show for the Charlotte 49 of the game. Bulldogs go down to defeat to the 49ers by a score of 24-3. We hope to see you next week in Atlanta when the Bulldogs take on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets at Grant Field. And, of course, next week right here on the Buddy Pugh Show.